Unfinished Business, the long-awaited expansion for Star Wars Outer Rim, was announced the other day during Fantasy Flight Games' annual in-flight report, and oh man, am I excited to finally have confirmation that we'll be getting an expansion to one of the best Star Wars board games of all time. So excited, in fact, that even though this single image is literally all the information we have, and probably all we're gonna have for months, I'm gonna analyze the poodoo out of this image and try and squeeze as much info out as I can for the rest of you who are just as excited as I am. Let's start with the obvious. Dengar is front and center in this art, obviously implying that he'll be a new playable character in Outer Rim. His Jumpmaster 2000, the Punishing One, will also obviously be added as a new player ship option to the game. This will make Dengar the fifth bounty hunter character added, joining the likes of Bosk, Boba, IGD-8, and Ketsu, making the player choices lean more heavily towards bounty hunting. I suspect this could mean some of the other new content might also add more depth to being a bounty hunter character. You'll note in the background of the artwork, two minions are loading a slab of carbonite with someone trapped inside onto the punishing one. This could just be fun art, or it could hint that a new carbon freeze mechanic is coming. I personally think it's probably just a fun detail on the artwork, but the show The Mandalorian showed that freezing your quarry in carbonite is a cool thing to do, and even though that show takes place well in the future from Outer Rim's presumed place in the timeline, that sort of thing doesn't have to limit adding rad Star Wars stuff into a rad Star Wars game. Going back to Dengar being a playable character, this means Dengar's contact token that's already in the base game will need to be replaced with someone else. You can't have Dengar accidentally bumping into Dengar and then getting into a fight with Dengar, now can you? Hopefully they swap the Dengar contact token with Zuckus, who's still the only of the OG bounty hunters who's not already in the game. Poor guy. The planet Dengar is on in this art seems to be Ord Mantel, a city built around some mountainous terrain. Ord Mantel's a planet that already exists in the game, so this isn't a hint at a new location coming to the game or anything like that. Other things on the art that probably don't mean anything concrete in terms of new content is the falling and the hologram of the Mon Calamari that he's holding. This hologram could mean that we're getting Admiral Akbar as a new contact and bounty target, or more realistically, maybe Admiral Radis, since the game does have a lot of Rogue One content already, but I'm thinking it's most likely just nothing and fun artwork. Speaking of Rogue One, Let's finish by checking out what I think might be the most exciting part of this picture, the top edge of the box. If we flip the image over and look closely, I think I can say with 90% certainty that we're looking at none other than Enfys Nest, and behind her is one of the Two Tube brothers, Benthic or Edrio. We can assume that the Two Tubes guy will likely be a new contact token for the board, maybe a guy who can join your crew. And I might dare say that Enfys Nest might actually be a playable character. I could see it going either way. But adding more than one new playable character in this expansion seems like a reasonable assumption, and that one of them would be another woman as a playable option seems sensible too. Also there's this bright green planet behind them in the art. Presumably this is a new planet coming, so maybe we'll be getting at least one new planet tile uh, to expand the rim. I don't have any solid ideas on which green planet this might be. It could just be Takodana, which is already in the game. But it could be something new like Bogano or Gand or some place that would make sense for the game. And finally we can see that the box still says 1 to 4 players so this expansion won't be increasing the player count. Anyway that's all the information I could squeeze out of this one image. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything or just let me know how damn hyped you are about this. Thanks for watching. <laughs>